It was brought to me as a unique opportunity. I was just kind of taking the meeting with a, okay, let's see what's going on. And then when Jalen presented it and showed me the, the design for a soapbox car that was in the shape of a trombone, instantly in my head I go, we have to do this. The team were the ones who came up with the idea for Trouble here in River City. So, I mean, to utilize that from the Music Man and kind of our background here in Mesa City was great. Music Man Square actually had no influence on them. They had this idea themselves. So, being the people they are and celebrating Mesa City this way was great. I remember we did a little video presentation uh, out in front of City Hall and Scotty and uh, Jay Lynn and all of them rolled up uh, in that soapbox derby car. And just to be able to interview them and talk with them, they're so such genuine people and um, just did a fabulous job of representing Mason City. The winner of the Casey's Hometown Racer competition, the Trouble in a I think something that uh, Scotty mentioned to me was that you know, right after they received those two awards, you know, their phones were blowing up. People all over that recognized uh, Mason City, recognized River City, recognized the Music Man. We've seen a lot of different responses. Uh, there's been people that have come in, they're just like, where's the car at? And it's, it's right down in the center, come on by. And then of course they're like, wow, because they didn't expect the 1912 streetscape. When someone makes the effort to do something like this, we like to recognize it. And uh, so we invited them to the city council meeting, uh, honored them. So this was uh, extremely unique and original. And uh, it, I think it put Music Man Square on a different level because it's now been seen worldwide. You know, authenticity goes a long way. And that's what they had in spades. And so we're just uh, grateful to them. <laughs>